are going to see about Gomori's mixed integer method. This method was proposed by Ralph Gomori. A cutting plane is an umbrella term for optimization methods which iteratively refine a feasible set or object function by means of linear inequalities termed cuts. Gomori's cut is such a method. We will first solve the following mixed integer linear programming problem. In order to solve the problem using mi uh, mixed Gomori's cut, we will first obtain the solution of the problem by using simplex method, find out the Gomori cut, introduce the Gomori cut in the problem and iteratively solve it using dual simplex method. In order to solve the given problem using simplex method, we will first rewrite the given equations by introducing slack variables and surplus variables wherever necessary. As we see in the constraints that we have less than or equal to and less than or equal to symbols, we will introduce slack variables. Thus, rewriting the equations, we obtain the following equations. Now we will proceed to draw the simplex table and start the computation. multiplied by 2 that is 
R1, new R1, two old R1 minus two into new R1. After performing the calculations, we obtain the value as. of ZJ as done in the previous iteration that is 0 into 0 plus 1 into 1. We will proceed to calculate the value of CJ minus ZJ. As this is a maximization problem we choose the value of Cj minus Zj that is the maximum over here it is 1 by 6 hence we have determined the pivot column. Now we will proceed to compute the ratio that is 6 divided by 10 by 3 we get 9 by 5 and 5 divided by 5 by 6 we get 6. Here 9 by 5 is a smaller value hence we choose the pivot row. Similarly, in the next iteration, we see to make this value into 1 and this value into 0. We also replace this variable with this variable. That is, we will have x2 over here in the next iteration. In order to make this into 1, we divide the entire row by 10 by 3 and hence we obtain the value 0, 1, 3 by 10, minus 1 by 10, 9 by 5. And in order to make this row into 0, we multiply the new row, we multiply the new row with 5 by 6 and subtract both the rows the old row and the new row that is multiplied with 5 by 6. We calculate the value of Zj, 1 into 0 plus 1 into 1. Similarly, we calculate the other Zj values. value of Cj minus Zj again. In finding the solution by simplex method, for maximization problems, we may stop iterating when the Cj minus Zj value becomes less than or equal to 0. Over here, we have the values all to be less than or equal to 0. Hence, we have arrived at the solution for the problem. states that x1 is to be a non-negative integer. So we will proceed to compute the Gomori cut and then we will introduce it into this table and we will solve the problem using dual simplex method. In order to compute the Gomori cut, we choose the row that represents the variable that we need to change. That is over here we need x1 to be non-negative Hence, I choose the row which has a variable to be x1. So, we have x1 minus 1 by 4 s1 plus 1 by 4 s2 equal to 7 by 2. 
we will rewrite this equation by changing the coefficients into uh, integer and fractional parts. In the next step, we will drop the integer parts and hold on to only the fractional parts. Hence, we have 0x1 minus 1 by 4 s1 plus 1 by 4 s2 and half. Unlike the procedure for Gomuri cut, here to remove the negative value, to remove the negative sign, we will multiply this term with the RHS by RHS minus 1. That is 0x1 plus RHS over here is 1 by 2 by 1 by 2 minus 1 into minus 1 by 4 s1 plus 1 by 4 s2 is equal to half. Hence the negative sign is removed as we obtain minus 1 by half here. My, minus 1 by half and my, um, 1 by half divided by minus 1 by half gives us minus 1 and minus 1 into this term makes this negation positive. Hence we have 0x1 plus 1 by 4s1 plus 1 by 4s2 is equal to half. We will change the equal to symbol into greater than equal In order to make the greater than equal to into less than equal to, we multiply the entire equation with minus. So we have minus 1 by 4 s1 minus 1 by 4 s2 less than or equal to minus half. We will remove the inequalities by introducing a Gomori variable. We will introduce this cut into the final table of our iteration and solve the problem using dual simplex method. So rewriting a table we have We will write the equation for our Gomori cut as a row in the column, as a row in the table. You will calculate the value of ZJ as done in our previous uh, iterations, 1 into 0 plus 1 into 0 plus 0 into 0. So we have 1. Similarly, we calculate the other value. So 1, 1 by 20, 3 by 20, 0, 53 by 10. We calculate the value of Cj minus Zj again. 0, 0, minus 1 by 20, minus 3 by 20. Dual simplex method, a solution is feasible if Cj minus Zj is less than 0 and a solution is positive. If Cj minus Zj is less than 0 and 
any one of the values in the solution are negative, we may continue iterating. The solution is infeasible only when Cj minus Zj is positive. Here, we have negative values in Cj minus Zj and a negative value for Gm1 in our solution. Hence, we may continue iterating. To choose the pivot row and the pivot column, we will first determine the value of theta. In order to determine the value of theta, we choose a pivot row first and that will be the most, the least negative, most negative value. Over here, it is minus 1 by 2. The value of theta is computed as Cj minus Zj divided by the corresponding value in the pivot row. Over here, we have 0, 0. Here the value of theta would be minus 1 by 20 divided by minus 1 by 4. That gives us 1 by 5. Similarly, 3 by 5. We choose the pivot column as the least value of theta. Over here, 1 by 5 is lesser. Hence, this column becomes a pivot column. We will continue iterating again. And for the next iteration, we need to make this term into 1 and all these terms into 0. Thank you. 